Okay, so just as a follow-up uh, to the previous video where we have just installed um, a special version of QPass enabling TensorFlow, um, we can now um, use uh, the Stardis scripts. So without going too much ahead of us, since we are just at the beginning of this software, let me just show you how to use those uh, Stardis scripts uh, on Windows. Um, but if you are more interested in uh, a better demonstration, you can have a look here at uh, this uh, uh, webinar that was recorded uh, at uh, Nubias. It was very interesting. So here um, we have first to get the pre-trained models. Um, so if you go at this address, um, in this repository, you will find several uh, pre-trained models. And we are interested in uh, those two, the SB2018 Heavy Augment and HE Heavy Augment. The first one uh, is for uh, fluorescent images, and the second one is for um, uh, bright field images. So let's uh, select a file and click download. And then do the same for the second one. Now, if we have a look at our download folder, we have those two zip files. We can just extract them. Here we go. Now, here we have uh, now our two models uh, for uh, Stardust. So now in order to use them, uh, we need to um, uh, save the uh, path here. So just copy this path, and we have to, we will have to modify it a bit um, uh, in the script. So let's launch uh, quickly QPath, the TensorFlow version. Here we go, and just add an image. Uh, so I have loaded some images from a slide scanner. Uh, they are not particularly uh, useful. I uh, don't even know if this is the right staining, but nevertheless, you will get the, the, the idea. So let's set this to H and E, probably. And let's focus on an area where we can see some nuclei here for instance let's draw a region around this here we'll go now to automate show script editor and let's just paste here for the moment the path uh, to our model and if we go back to the Stardust page. If you go down a bit, you will see here detecting nuclei. So here you have an example script um, that works for uh, HE images. So let's just copy this script here and go back to QPath, paste this here. So here I'm just following uh, the instructions. The one thing that uh, is not clearly uh, laid out is that here you have to replace this string with your path. So let's just do this. The problem is that this string, as it is written here, is actually um, uh, assuming that you are using uh, either a, a Linux system or a Mac OS system. Here we are on Windows. So the path will not work if I just put this path like here, it will not work. So 
what I need to do is change those backslashes to two slashes to have the right path like this and now I can get rid of this line here and let's just see if our script works at all and then we will see if we can just fine-tune it a bit uh, to see the effects so let's just go to run and let's see if something is said here and if we have some detections so the model is now loaded and through the magic of machine learning we have detected those uh, measly uh, nuclei here so let's just be a bit less harsh on the uh, threshold and maybe have the pixel size way smaller and try again but at least the good news is that the script works and here we go so now we have more nuclei and here you have uh, only a few options that are possible to customize the Stardist uh, detection uh, builder. Um, if you want to see all the options available, you can uh, have a look at this page and go browse down. You will have more information on how to use uh, this um, this tool. Especially, you can have uh, some measurements added to this. Um, detection and how to watch uh, those measurements to to exploit them okay so that's it for using stardist with your custom built uh, tensorflow uh, enabled uh, qpass thanks for watching bye bye